Welcome everyone, my name is Eva Helps with Siler Design Solutions and today I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on the Autodesk Assistant, how to find it, what to use it for, and things of that nature. In the past you might have heard it referred to as the Autodesk Virtual Agent, Ava. That seems to be no longer a thing, so if you, what once was autodesk.ava.com, it's no longer a site. I'm going to show you two ways to find that Autodesk Assistant and how to kind of go about using it. The first way is to log in to your manage.autodesk.com page. Once you're inside there, you should see this question mark down here in the lower right hand corner. So if you go ahead and select that, you'll see it's trying to guide you to the right answer or agent. So you can actually get to a agent by going through these steps. Unless you're wanting to buy something or have a trial or educational licensed product, you'll want to go ahead and start with this post-purchase support. So if we select that, you'll see it pops up with a number of options, whether you want to help with some downloads, maybe you need a download of a previous version or update, or you just want to directly ask them for the download links. Uh, you can get help with installing and activating user license management, subscriptions, uh, custom and APIs, sign in and profile, or help using your software. So if you just had a question about how to do something, you could select this help using my software. You would select an appropriate product that you have on your product page. I'll just select AutoCAD. And then you would type in whatever question you needed help with. So you can type in virtually anything how do you export the drawing to a different format? I just chose DGN, MicroStation. So it'll come up with some links of documentation that they previously had to help you get to that, the question at hand. But if it doesn't show something that you're satisfied with, you can come down here you can go ahead and you can cont contact a support agent. So once you contact that support agent, it'll load options. Depending on what your plan or your subscription is, it will have different options here. You can either choose to do a live chat with an agent. You can, if you have this option, or you can create a case if you have that option. So it's a useful tool. Uh, again, if you go back to the home, starting with that post-purchase support. But that's one way you can kind of hop on and get help, a little, a little more personalized help than the help inside of AutoCAD or just Googling. So if you had a specific question you wanted to help with, you'd go to your manage.autodesk.com, come to that question mark, and that would be one way to find that Autodesk Assistant. Another way, so inside the application, I have Autodesk 2024 open, but if you go to your little help button up here, select that access help, you'll notice this little bubble down here, which will bring you to a similar place using the Autodesk Assistant, just like it did from your manage.autodesk.com where you sign in with your Autodesk account. So you see it's prompting you, you can ask it your question and it will suggest solutions as it says here. And if the solution doesn't help, then they'll get you an agent. So you can go through those same steps and get to a live agent to answer some of those questions. So just a couple of different ways to find that Autodesk Assistant in case you need assistance. And of course, you can always reach out to us if you have a question and we can help you with that support as well. So at Siler Design Solutions, you can do that by emailing us at cadtechnical at silerinst.com. But until then, have a great day and thanks for listening.